Um, whether you play the guitar or the banjo, there's some basic music theory that can help you when you transpose cards, uh, chords. So, like this is a keyboard, and you know this is middle C on the piano, uh, and you just go up right up the white keys. You know C D E F G, and then it starts back over at A A B C. And I don't know if you've ever wondered, but how come there's not a black key right here? Then there's not one right there. They always come in like twos and threes. See, as you go up, two, three, two, three. Well, the black keys are sharps or flats. And uh, if you'll notice right here between C and B, there isn't any black key. So what that means is if I go from C to D, and there is a black key that means there's a, such a thing as a C sharp or you could say that it's a D flat because it's a half step lower than this D key C I go from D down to D flat or I can go from C up to C sharp but if you look right here if I go from B to C there isn't any black key in between each one of these steps here corresponds to a fret on a fretted instrument. So if on the uh, banjo on the second string, the first fret is this C. If you play the string open, it's this B, B, C. And then if you use the second fret on the banjo, you get the C sharp, and the third fret is the D. Well, what's that got to do with playing the banjo or the guitar? Well, if I want to transpose a key, and let's say uh, the key is written in in the key of D but I want to play using my chords that I already know which are in the key of C I can put my capo on the second fret first fret second fret so I'd put my capo on the second fret and I could play in C but I would get the chords that you would get if you're playing in the key of D so the other instruments can all be playing in the key of D I'm using my C chord F chord and G seventh those chords A minor and uh, so, but what is what good is it to know this stuff about the piano? Well, it tells you how far up to move uh, your capo. So, like if your uh, song is in A, but you like playing your chords in G, you're gonna have to put your capo on the second fret. Suppose that you know C, D, E, F. The song's in F, but you like using D. D, E, D sharp or E flat, E, F, one, two, three. So the third fret is where you put your capo. Uh, and I'll show you some stuff on uh, the banjo in particular, and I might get around to doing it on the guitar about the basic chord positions and how they move up the neck so you can figure out what chord it is that you want to play in. But that's it for the basic theory. Uh, we may talk some about, you know, what are those weird chords like D2, what do those kinds of things mean, but this is just basic theory right here. Hope that helped you guys. Bye.